Alright everybody, welcome to your fifth WordPress theme development tutorial. My name is Mehul and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create or basically how to split this index.php file into modules. Well, WordPress supports modular programming and uh, by modules what I mean pretty much is just like breaking a whole bunch of file into different pieces and then including them separately. Well, this is extremely useful because in modular programming you can reuse your code in a lot of files instead of just increasing the size of every single file. So let's suppose that for a website you want to have a similar set of header for example your navigation bar is constant all along your website you have same links same images same icons same everything and you want to change an icon of a single list item sure you can just grip it in Linux and pretty much make use of notepad plus plus for windows if you're smart enough but if you're not then pretty much you are in a trouble if you have like 500 pages to do well in that case modular programming would come handy and that is you can just split your code which is you know you can see that it's repeating consistently on every page and then just create a separate file out of it and just include that single file on multiple pages so that's what we're gonna make use of here so I'm just gonna take this whole code and create a new file named header.php now make sure you create the same name as header.php because this is not something that I'm creating at my own will these file names are actually you know WordPress knows about these file names so when I'm gonna make use of something like get header here inside a PHP tag WordPress knows that I am referring to this header.php file and not any random file on the internet so WordPress would probably look for this header.php file in the same working directory so I paste this code right here which just says similar thing and uh, pretty much if there's a get header you might have guessed it by now there should be a get footer as well yes there is and you can just say get footer and pretty much create another file which says footer.php and here we go and why not just make all of these php tags one and the same so a bit of indentation right there wouldn't hurt here we go now if you take a look at your website if you reload this you can see that pretty much it looks still the same but now you have split it up your index.php into modules precisely to for now the header one and the footer one so now if you have like a million pages or something on your WordPress and you wanted to add a script which just says happy new year to your users then you can just pretty much go to header.php and make a change here and pretty much it would reflect back on all of your pages which make use of this get header function so that's get header for you and pretty much what you can do in this header.php is that you can call a function wp head now what this wp head is about is that let's say from a theme developer you immediately became a plugin developer let's just assume that so you are creating a plugin for users of WordPress and you obviously don't know which user is using what sort of WordPress theme so it becomes extremely difficult for the plugin developer to determine the correct place of inserting the codes like scripts or style sheets or something like that so what this WP head means pretty much is that all of the automatic code that WordPress wants to insert before this head tag are basically all of the code which a plugin developer or any other developer 
like a module developer wants to insert before the head it can be inserted right here with the help of this function so you can actually bind things with WP head and WP head would reflect back them on your page so if I reload this you can see pretty much we get a lot of stuff and the reason is that WordPress is making use of things like Open Sans font and then this is sort of an emoji icon uh, okay I don't have authorization to view this page anyways I don't care so that's pretty much what WordPress does if you include PHP this WP head function WordPress is automatically inserting a lot of content it wants to have for example it says WP admin bar display none for the website so that the administrator bar doesn't appear on here so that's pretty much how WP head works and uh, for WP footer you guessed it right we have a PHP WP footer as well so make sure you include include these two tags if you want your theme to work with plugins and stuff again if you reload we get a lot of items here as well so if I reload this you can see suddenly our administrator bar appears out of nowhere and this is because of this WP footer function and one thing one more thing I want to show you in this tutorial is something known as a PHP function for WordPress and that is the blog info so this blog info PHP blog info actually I just want to show you everything associated with it but let me just see how can I do that if I want to dump this blog info thing uh, no not really so no not really so what this function actually does is that if you pass in an argument for example let me just show you an example actually so instead of this character set UDF8 what I can do is I can add PHP blog info car set and what this would do pretty much is that it would uh, still display UDF8 but it would actually now fetch that thing from somewhere here I don't know it should be somewhere here uh, inside some WordPress settings but you know I just made it dynamic so you know if I get an option here to change the uh, car set type of my web page from UDF8 to some other thing then I can do that from WordPress dashboard instead of messing up with code which would be ideally good for a user so instead of this my home page again I can add a dynamic title which is my blog name so I can pretty much say PHP blog info and again I can pass in the argument as name that is whatever I want so if I reload this you can see I get my home page no not really you can see I get code dam WP tester inside title which is actually the name of my website this page right here you can see so we are echoing of the name of the blog but that has a drawback is that this actually just keeps on displaying the blog name on posts as well well we can just work with that as well later on but for now let's just learn how to just pretty much do that and for now let me just get rid of this toolbar you can just do that from this page right here just update your profile and you'll be good to go so pretty much you can play around and you can actually just say right here inside h2 and say php blog info uh, 
description and this would again fetch some sort of description from your description field inside your settings journal let's just say the most awesome WordPress theme ever and that attitude I like that attitude so reload and you get your new description so you might want to use this in your meta car set for the search engine bots to work properly with your website but for now I'm just gonna leave it with h2 only for the simple demonstration purposes and that's how pretty much you create a header.php file and footer.php file and as to revise this tutorial in a quick shot of 30 seconds you must include these two ones and then we have this blog info function which is pretty much returns some valuable stuff to us when we pass in what we want from the website like name or description or even the character set and yeah you can actually just display the languages as well so you can say php language attributes and reload this users you can see it automatically adds in HTML lang e and us and for example if you have specified for some another country I don't know it's all in here I guess if I just change this to some different language and uh, let's just see if it works or not okay so this kind of looks weird to me reload reload you can see that the language automatically updates and the direction as well right to left and languages some Arabic or something like this so I can get my head around this stuff so I'm just gonna revert it back to English only so looks nice now and uh, that's pretty much it for header.php for now and uh, yeah that's not actually all of the stuff but if I have missed something then don't worry I'm gonna cover all of that stuff later on when we are actually starting off with theme development right now we are just learning about how things are working with WordPress and how to work them how to make them work so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching